So as we begin chapter three, we're gonna start talking about parallel lines and transversals and essentially just multiple lines crossing one another and the angle pairs that those create. So first let's take a look at three different types of relationships for lines. Parallel lines, I, uh, I'm able to draw that one. Take this, let's just copy it. Parallel lines never cross. They go in the same direction forever and ever. Intersecting lines, they just cross, plain and simple. You've seen those two. The new one that we may not have seen before is skew. And skew lines don't cross, but they're not parallel. If you look, you have to look at it in a 3D picture, which is why I got this picture uh, from online. They don't cross, but they're not going in the same direction because they're on two separate planes. So they're non-coplanar lines. And then when we talk about planes, those can either be parallel or intersecting. They can't be skew like lines can. Parallel planes, think of like a roof and a floor. Intersecting lines, think about corners of the wall. If you look at the room you're in right now and you look at the corner of the wall, the two walls intersecting, those are two planes intersecting. If you look at the ceiling and the floor, that's two parallel planes. Okay, so take a minute. Try answering if these segments or if these planes are parallel, intersecting, or skew. So take a minute and try that. Okay, so ON and RS. ON is up here. RS is here. Now it looks like they're skew because they're on different planes. But because they're going in the same direction, these two are actually parallel. Plane MRS, so we're talking about the front side, and plane NOP. NOP, that's the top, the front and the top intersect. UR and NU. NU is back here. Let me erase my last answer just so we can see what we're doing. UR is bottom left. UN is up here. Those cross, so those are intersecting. Plane PST, we're talking about the right hand side and plane MRU, the left-hand side. Right and left side don't cross, so those are parallel. OP and UT. OP is this line right here. UT is down below. One of them's dotted, which means they're actually not crossing. Those are skew. So hopefully you got all five. If not, be sure to ask questions about them. A transversal is a line that crosses two other lines. Let's make it as simple as it can be. Line T is a transversal because it crosses two lines. When you cross two lines, you get two sets of four angles. We're going to use those eight angles throughout this whole chapter pretty much. Angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm always going to try and number them in that order. Um, you may see a couple of different variations, but I'm always going to try numbering them because when we start having eight, there's a lot of different letters that could be confused when we name, name them with three letters. So we're going to stick with numbers. So, we have five different pairs. We have alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, same side interior, same side exterior, and corresponding. So alternate interior, alternate interior and alternate exterior means you're taking one from one side of the transversal and one side from the other side of the transversal. So alternate interior means they're inside these two lines. So let's look at angle four. The other ones that are inside are 3, 5, and 6. Well, the one that alternates is on the other side, it's angle 6. When we're using these five angle pairs, we always want to pick one of 1 through 4 and one of 5, 6, 7, and 8. Let's look at alternate exterior. Exterior angles are 1 and 2 and 7 and 8. So let's start with angle 1. The angle opposite of angle 1 is angle 7. Now let's take a look at same side interior. Same side means exactly what you think it means. It's on the same side of the transversal. So we're looking at 1, 4, 5, and 8. Those are all on the same side. But it says interior. So we're going to pick the two that are on the inside. Angle 4 and angle 5. Same side exterior. Well, again, same side, 1, 4, 5, and 8, but we want the ones on the outside 
So we're going to look at angle 1 and angle 8. Now there's also multiple answers. Um, I'm just picking one example so that you can see it. And corresponding angles means if you were to take these four and bring them down and lay it right on top of here, which one is in the same spot? So angle 2 is in the top right corner. I want to find the corresponding angle down here that is also in the top right corner. And that's where we get angle 6. So alternate, ex alternate interior and alternate exterior go across the transversal. Same side interior, same side exterior. Stay on the same side. Corresponding are in the exact same spot, like top right and top right. So take a minute. Try all six of these. See if you can answer them. And then we'll check them in a minute. All right, so angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 1 is outside. Angle 7 is outside, but they're across the transversal. So they're alternate interior. And I'm going to abbreviate that all the time. Um, number 4 and 5, they're both inside, and they're on the same side. So they're same side interior. Angles 2 and 6, top right corner, top right corner. Corresponding, usually I'll abbreviate that right here, C-O-R-R. -R. So let's erase the rest so we see it. Uh, 3 and 5, 3 is inside, 5 is across the transversal. Alternate interior, and I just realized now, writing that, that that one's wrong. That's alternate exterior, 1 and 7 are outside. Angles 3 and 6. 3 and 6 are both inside. They're on the same side. Same side interior. And angles 1 and 8, they're on the outside, so they're exterior, but they're on the same side of the transversal. 